Hi everyone. Today, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing because we've got a power cut again. So, and I was in the middle of having my shower this morning when the power cut happened and it's electrical based, so it power went, but I've still got water coming out. It's not very, yeah, it's still warm, still from the hot tamp. But, so, still without power. So I don't know what's happening, do we? We really don't know what's happening. So I will see what I'm going to do today. <laughs> You're in the best spot there, aren't you? Just chilling while it's horrible and windy outside. So I've, we're in the technical department. You don't come in here very often, but needed to come in here because silence. Apart from that beeping, which just happened, which is the UPS. But um, all of the equipment here is, of course, battery operated. So um, I will try and get... Oh, well battery op operated we're filming anyway now but hopefully we'll be able to do some more filming later and then of course mics are also battery operated and ooh, talking about mics spoke to the technical department and that because of the last video and it the clanking clanking of the earring on the mic they've readjusted and hopefully you can see that the mic is now much higher on my face not near my earring and hopefully there won't be um, too much disruption noise wise you'll tell you're here now but anyway let's go and see what else i can get on with today come back in here look all of a sudden it, it started to beat constantly so i think i'm not technically minded but i think it's that means it's going to be stopping soon so the power cut, I don't know how long we've had it, had it going, but anyway, I don't know what it's record. Well, we're keeping power to at the moment. So anyway, <sighs> now, what else can I get on with while I've got no power? Spring cleaning. I said that a, f uh, a few videos ago, so I can get on with that because I don't need power for that. That's, that's duster and I don't, don't know what else, but I can do that. This table definitely needs a tidy up. But of course, last week I was, it was Valentine's Day when I did the video and I had two Valentine's Day cards sent to me. And that one I know who it's from. It was from my very nice Scottish friend. And I always just get something from him, which is lovely. But keeping those up because I like to keep them up for a bit longer than necessary. So. Uh, this just all needs a good tidy up. Actually, they need a wash. So I'll pop those to one side. Let me just pop those there. And then these. Mm. So many crumbs. It's amazing how dirty a table gets. But those. Uh, of course, I had the fire going. Um, stopped it last week because the temperatures rose. So. I stop that, but it does also mean though that we've got a whole load of I've cleaned it cleaned it out. So um, uh, by cleaning it out, of course, it raises all the the dust when you clean and on the ash. So I then get another layer of ash 
which looks like dust on everything. So you need to sort that out. That looks better. So, <laughs> hello, gorgeous. Yeah, enjoying that. Just going to open this up and pop the crumbs out there. Ooh. Doesn't seem as windy at this this side of the house. But the wind's coming from, hold on, that's east, so that's west. So it's coming from the west, the uh, storm at the moment. Oh, you snuggle down there, okay? That that would be perfect. Now, yeah, here you go. Here's the amount of ash that comes, if I just do, there we are. Amount of ash that comes off the fire. Absolutely horrendous. So just by cleaning those, makes it so much better. Oh, I need to refill those with a some fuel, because they will be handy if we have a power cut, or we've still got a power cut tonight, because of course, that's very fiddly though. So I had a bit of a power cut yesterday. We were, <laughs> um, I was with some friends at a uh, local pub, and uh, having a very nice afternoon and then stayed on to have um, some food delivered. And while we were there, the, uh, the rain, the storm, how it, it just hit the front of the building. And it was as if water was just being sprayed directly at the windows. It was absolutely torrential rain, so much rain coming down yesterday. And during all of that, no power outage at all. And then it was about an hour and a half later, kept on getting a blip. And then five minutes later, another blip. And then everyone went out. And then we, ca we came back on. And then everyone went out again. It was just, it was about 15, 20 minutes of lights going on and off. But anyway, it was, uh, it then ended up with completely nothing. But... Our food had been ordered, so we were just waiting on it to arrive. And so we ate by candlelight and their, uh, the pub's emergency lights at, at their exits. It's quite beautiful, really. Quite, quite romantic. <laughs> yeah, still haven't got this fixed. But, oh... A friend of ours does know of someone who is a clockmaker. So I'm hoping that we will be able to send him some photographs and then be able to then get that back chiming and working properly again. Fingers crossed anyway. Well, um, we'll see. Because <coughs> it fits rather nicely there just under the mirror which is nice. And then oh, let's pop those back. I'm not going to put the glass back because I still want to refill those. And I won't do that on, on camera because that takes far, far too long. So, gosh, that's really blowing now. Oh yeah, we had um, one of the old, old trees over, over in the churchyard. Uh, they had um, one of their, or a couple of their branches actually fell down during the storm. Thankfully, it hasn't. It where it fell, it didn't ruin anything. It was amazing. Um, didn't didn't destroy any of the graveyards or any of the uh, wrought iron railings that that, that it was near. So 
so far, yes, there has been some damage of of, of branches um, falling, but nothing to actually damage property. Touch wood. <laughs> Fingers crossed, then that that will be all right. But yeah, I've got loads of twigs and branches dotted about the garden at the moment, so need to tidy that up when it's a bit more um, quieter, not so windy. It won't get blown about. So yeah. That looks about right. Oh. Mr. Postman's outside. I wonder if I've got anything today. Obviously, I have. Pop that there. Ooh. Thank you very much. Nice, Mr. Postman. Have a look at those later. This is the important one. ordered these because I needed some new shoes and so not my favorite way of ordering shoes off the web but because of not being able to get out and go to the shoe shops I, I saw these and I thought let's go and have a look okay so Ooh. they look all right the important thing is let's see if they fit so let's go back in here where there's a bit more room and light let me go here oh hello you you're in in the best place as well aren't you okay so Oh yes, of course these are the shoes from uh, last week when I got them rehealed, and yeah, perfectly done and it's always nice to be able to wear them again. But let's try these new ones on. Oh. Of course, whoo, they're very cold. <laughs> And it doesn't help that I've actually got my feet are quite warm at the moment, but that's possibly a good thing, possibly a bad thing. But I usually usually try them with hosiery, and of course I haven't put any on at the moment. So and these shoes also came in quite a few different colours. So I'm quite impressed with that. So, you'll have to let me know what you think. Feel as if they've got quite a bit of room in the, in the toes, which is there. But, of course, it's not until you properly wear them around the house with hosiery on as well to see if they actually work or not. But I'm quite impressed. I think I might stay with these for the moment. Now, where did I put my duster? Behind Mr. Cameraman. Hmm. Right, what else needs doing? Actually, quite a bit. Just pop that there. So we've definitely got this to do. And those. Oh, Our stray cat, our resident stray cat from the village is outside and I usually feed him. So let me just sort that out. <laughs> there we are. Is that all right? Yes. 
I do feed a, a stray, well he's not a stray cat, but I do feed him when I've got food which our cats haven't actually eaten and it's been down for a, a while. I always then uh, just mix that in with some uh, other food which our cat, I bought and our cats don't like. And then just then um, feed it to him so that he then gets fed because he's he wanders around and he's well known am among the village because I <laughs> we call him Claus because um, he looked to me he looks like um, Santa Claus <laughs> he's very full full um, of feathers and whiskers not feathers but um, full of fur and he's very um, uh, just fluffy, um, but of course he's an outdoor cat. But his real name is Paws, so really confusing. But I do, I do um, just make sure that he's he's had a bowl of food a day from me if if and when he turns up because he's not always with us. So yeah, that's just something that I do. And filled filled up with some hot water because of course we've got hot water in in the tank. So I've just filled that up. So we've got some warm water. And there we go. But I don't know what else to do at the moment. I'll see what happens. Okay, so that's that him fed. So that's nice, nice to know that he's still about and he's okay with the winds that we've got at the moment. It's pointless me carrying on dusting because I've got a maid coming tomorrow so she can carry on with that. And I can't do anything else, so I think I may as well go and do my weekly grocery shop. So I'll go and get changed and get on and do that. Whew. Now ready for to go and do some grocery shopping. While I was getting changed, I realised that I've done a whole load of different outfits try-ons with different colored shoes but I've never done it with black shoes and I have a variety of black shoes not just one because what lady wouldn't have just one pair of black shoes colored shoes possibly but black ones you always have quite a few and so I think I might need to add that to my to-do list to then do outfits with my different styles of black shoes that I have for you but please still remember to keep on sending me um, suggestions for uh, uh, for for sh outfits for the um, uh, for to wear but also suggestions for actual videos because of course I did the one for Steve um, in the jeans a, while, a few few weeks ago so please please just carry up please just keep in the comments below message me and let me let me know so Anyway, need my handbag oh, for my shopping spree. And then I also need some other bits. Bag, definitely. Because oh, I can't go, can't go shopping without my shopping bags. No. Let me just turn. No, still haven't got electric. It's one of those things you just automatically, you go into a room and you turn a light on because it's a bit dark or turn the switch on and you go, oh no. And then it's, did I leave the light on? Did I leave the light off? Can't remember. Anyway, so keys. That's what I need. So I'm ready. So I will now say I will see you next time because you don't need to watch me go shopping again um, for groceries. So yes, hope, you, uh, hope you're all okay. And yeah, look forward to seeing you next time and take care.